Okay, so we've got a question here that relies heavily on the graphing calculator. Um, and just take a moment, set it up, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to work on it with me. So in this problem, there's Erica. She's a manager. She collects some data about the temperature and the coffee sales. You might want to notice that um, as the temperature is um, the highest, we have the lowest coffee sales. Um, so unlike me, who drinks coffee at any temperature, here, uh, typically, the hotter the temperature, maybe the lower the coffee sales. Uh, I'm guessing we're selling hot coffee, but it doesn't really matter here. They want to know what the linear regression is here to the nearest integer. They want to know what the correlation coefficient is here and what that means. Um, so here on the graphing calculator, we can set this up by going to stat. And we want to edit our lists. I have some lists here already, so we'll clear them off. Go to the top, hit clear and enter. And then up here, clear and enter. I'm going to enter my x values for L1 and my y values for L2. Here, uh, my x values are t and the y values are the function based on t. f of t or h of t or the function of the output, that's always the um, dependent variable. And just the letter t or x or whatever, that's your independent variable. And you can think about it logically, right? The coffee sales f of t depend upon the temperature. So x is 54, then 50 then 62. Go slowly here. Don't let them get you here, right? Don't let them trip you up, right? Just enter these numbers in one at a time. I always make mistakes here. Uh, 70 and then 58. Just entering those values in. 52, 46, and 48. And then the y value, let's do this next. Those are the, the cost. So 2,900 and then 3080, very exciting here, and 2500, right, and 2380. I'm just going to make sure that match 67, 2380, 67, 2380. 70 is 2200, okay, 58 is 2700, okay, 52 is 3000. Sorry, this is really, really boring. And 46 is 3620. And last but not least, we've made it. It's 3720. All right, so now I've got to find my line of best fit. I hit stat, go to calc. Choice four is linear regression. Uh, I can hit enter here because list one, list two are the default. And then what's the nearest integer? So y equals ax plus b, where a is the slope. So it's negative 58.2, that's negative 58. So y, oops, y is equal to negative 58, right, x um, plus b, so it's plus 61.82, plus 61.82. But we want to write it in their, in their format. So instead of y, it's f of t equals negative 58t plus 61.82. And the correlation coefficient is just this r value. And then that to the nearest um, hundredth, so point, negative 9.44 is, the second four is in the thousandth place. Uh, we use that to round the hundredth here. If it's uh, five or above, we round up, but it's below five, so it's negative 9.4, negative 0 0.94. And what is this? What is this, does R indicate a strong relationship? Yes, um, it does. Explain your reasoning. The, you can say yes, and the, and the reason you can say yes is that um, R is very close to negative one. Negative one and positive one are perfect fits. Anything very close to that means you have a great fit. If they ask you to explain more about the context here, this would mean as um, temperature goes up, then coffee sales, F of T, go down. As, <laughs> I should fix this, as temperature goes up, coffee sales go down. And I just want to point out that you know this for two reasons. You know this because of the table. We said that before, the highest coffee sales tend to lead to the lowest, highest coffee temp, highest temperature, not coffee, but the highest temperature outside tends to lead to the lowest copy sales, but also a negative correlation coefficient tells you that your slope is negative. If r is negative, so is the slope. And if you have a negative slope, that means as one variable increases, the other must decrease. So you know there's an inverse relationship there. All right, I hope this helped.